it's sort of like hitting a golf ball in the sweet spot or a tennis ball in the sweet spot of a racket. It's just, it's addictive because you, it's so reinforcing to see that discovery and know that you're the only one that knows it. of research is uh, transgender communication. So I'll be looking at um, the factors that influence successful uh, female perception in the male-to-female transgender population. Working with adults with dementia and uh, Alzheimer's disease specifically. I do hearing research mostly in the area of bone anchored hearing devices. Treatment-based research where we're actually studying intensive voice treatment on children with cerebral palsy who have motor speech disorders. It's in the speech voice side uh, and my background is with deafness and, and hearing loss so that's my primary target group uh, is speech and voice development in people who have hearing loss. My first uh, line of research has to do with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease and then my second line of research has to do with people who have dementia and live in long-term care or institutional settings. I'm actually really interested in the effects that gamified mobile technologies have on rehabilitation in patients. The role of the brain in speech production and in its disorders such as stuttering. I, might, I do research in pragmatic language disorders and particularly with the people with autism spectrum disorder. We're the only freestanding uh, department that includes OTPT and SLP under one roof. And there are huge advantages when you think about interdisciplinary practice and the opportunities that allows us to have. We are in the corner of the campus that's right next to all the medical action. So hospitals, the new Edmonton Clinic, uh, nursing, pharmacy, medicine, all of these things are right here. Um, and that's a wonderful position to be in. The most exciting part was when seeing our research results were driving what was being done in the clinic. So there were surgeries that weren't necessarily working that well as far as outcomes went. And um, when we pinpointed that and worked with the surgeons and then techniques were changed so that the outcomes became better and we, we watched that through our research process, that was really exciting. Every research question or problem or area or topic is just one small part of a huge puzzle and other people are working on other parts of that puzzle while you're working on your part of the puzzle. And together, that's how we solve these complex health problems or deal with these or answer these complex health questions is not by one study, but by a combination and a multitude of other studies and a multi-pronged approach to the problem. However, every piece is as important as the next. I would say the, the primary driver for me is the discovery of new knowledge. I think finding out what people don't know is one of the most exciting things I do. And I think that a lot of people miss, um, miss that in their training somehow, where you, 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 you do a job just for the sake of doing a job. For us, it's, it's not even really a job. It's an ex exploration of something that nobody else knows about, and that is that is to me the best part of this job. My research reminds me that being human is a complicated thing and um, that the human mind is an, is an endless puzzle. So um, I think that trying to translate that complexity is one of the things that keeps me going. <laughs>